Pond High School where tonight the Lutheran Crusaders will take on the Randolph Rockets and joining me is head coach Todd Decker. Todd, uh, you got a tough tough road to hoe here tonight. Uh, Randolph is an excellent basketball team. What do you got in store? Well, they're an excellent basketball team and an ex uh, excellent program. They've shown it throughout the years and uh, we have our work cut out for us and uh, they are a good basketball team and they're solid and uh, we're going to have to have our A game, but I like our chances. We've got some things that I think that we can do and uh, we're excited about it. You know, God's given us this opportunity and we're, we're getting after it. So it's, it's a neat experience. One of the things that I noticed in your game against Christian was it was a really a chess match, you know, and there was a lot of coaching going on. You could see it from both you and Brett. Uh, you see that same kind of a game tonight? Uh, without a doubt, and uh, we like switching some things up, and, uh, you know, they, they have an experienced coach, and, uh, and he's been around the block, so, and they, they were at our place four, five, six, seven times, and uh, so they'll, they'll know what we do, and we know what they do. Now they got a kid by the name of Huzenga who's uh, pretty well balanced. He's uh, rebounds, scores, and he gets a lot of assists. What can you tell tell us about him? He's a solid player, and he gets his. I mean, he he gets to the lane, uh, he gets his stuff in the lane. He's uh, gets to the basket. He's a left-hander, and uh, you gotta like that. Yeah, I know, Mike. <laughs> that's you, buddy. And uh, uh, he scores 15.8 points a game, and uh, so yeah. And but they have some solid players. We have to rebound against this team. If we don't rebound against them. It, it could be a really long night for us. Now, one thing I think you have an advantage on is you're going to have the best player on the floor out there. Yes, but they have they have good players too, and uh, uh, yeah, I think we will we'll have the best player on the floor. We expect a lot from Sam, and we have all year, but we have some nice players around him. And just like um, we played uh, over the weekend, our guys were shooting and knocking down shots, and that's what we're going to have to do tonight too. And it just can't be Sam. And uh, um, hopefully, some guys are going to show up and. Uh, uh, they work hard at it, and um, we're expecting good things from them, too. How did you know my next question? <laughs> you answered it. I was going to say, you got to get contributions from other guys. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And uh, especially if they're going to sag on Sam or double team him or something. And we work a lot on guys finding the open uh, opening and get the shot. And hey, if you're open, take it with confidence. You know, as a shooter, as a player, if you get yourself set and you have an open shot, we'll take those. And if they fall tonight, It'll be a great game. If not, then we have to try to do something else, but that's what we're looking for to do. All right, Coach, thanks a lot for uh, stopping by, and good luck tonight. Okay, thank you. Thanks. We're at Wapan High School waiting for uh, Lutheran to take on Randolph in sectional action. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, we got a little different setup yeah. up here, don't we? Yeah, it's a lot different, but the place is packed. It's exciting, you know, sectional action, and, you know, what more can you ask for uh, for a Thursday night? Now, had a chance to talk with uh, Coach Todd Decker, and he said that uh, Huzenga is really a good player for them. But I, I responded by, you know, we got the best player on the floor in uh, Todd in uh, Sam Decker. What, what are your opinions on those two? Well, I, I agree with you. There's no question that he's the best player, and it'd be interesting to see what Randolph does if they do a lot of things similar to what Oostberg does. They kind of shuffle different people on them and things like that. Randolph's a very big and tall team, and that kind of scares me a little bit because the teams that Lutheran struggle with this are basically the more physical teams this year. When you talk about Oostberg and Ozaki, they're more bigger and physical teams. Randolph is one of those teams. So how Lutheran responds to that physical play of Randolph might be the key. Uh, one of the things you got to think is Oostberg is just as good as Randolph, and uh, Lutheran's, you know, has, has competed with those with those kind of teams already. Yeah, I actually saw some coaches from uh, Plymouth High School who played Randolph already this year, and they scrimmage Oostberg. And I said, "Well, how good is Randolph compared to Oostberg?" And he kind of goes and hesitates. So, well, Oostberg's a little better. So that's probably a good comparison is Oostberg and Randolph. And you know, Randolph is just a traditional power. The last 20 years, they've just been one of the supreme programs in all the state, kind of what you look at. And I think an important thing for Lutheran tonight is not to look at the jerseys. Don't look at the blue jerseys that say Randolph on there and all the blue things here. Just worry about playing your basketball game. Now the kid that uh, really stands out for Randolph is a guy by the name of TJ Huizinga and he's averaging over 15 points a game and averages almost four assists per game along with being their leading rebounder. 
Yeah, and he's he's good, but they got a lot of players that seem like they're pretty good. But kind of similar teams. You're right, Marty. They have you know like Luther. They have a guy that's averaging 29. You know they have a kid that's averaging 16. And then under after that, they all their guys are under double figures. So very similar types of things. So it'd be interesting to see who's going to guard him tonight. I you know some teams like to put their best player on the other team's best player, and but then you worry about foul trouble. So I'm very curious how Coach Decker is going to handle this situation. No, I think we agree on this point. I think one of the keys for Lutheran to be successful tonight is they got to get contributions from other kids. Yeah, that's one of the contributions. I, there's no question. One, I had a couple of things I wrote down here. You know, number one, you got to stay on the floor. No foul trouble tonight. We've had too many struggles with that and getting kids in foul trouble. And tonight is not the night to do that. Uh, get off to a good start. You know, shoot the ball well, hit those threes as well, but don't fall behind. And you know, all of a sudden we're struggling, but. Something that's kind of interesting for Randolph, they never play any close games, Marty. So, you know, I like to see this game real close and see if they have any clutch on their side because they win all their games by 10 or more or they've lost their three games or by Division One teams or all by more than 10 points. So get into a close game, at least hang with them. One of the things, and I think you mentioned it before, is uh, Lutheran has to be a presence inside. They can't just give up because the other team is much taller than them. <laughs> I think that's another key, too. I got that written down. Number one, don't allow second shots. And two, what you alluded to is you got to finish tonight. You got to make those laps. When you're underneath the basket, you got to put them into the hoop. You got to make your free throws tonight. Those are all things that are keys to the game. And with their big players, no second shots. You got to, everybody's got to box out and hit, hit the uh, boards, especially on the defensive end. Just let allow them one and out and our under, let's just finish. I think one of the key factors, uh, kind of a hidden factor, you know, one of the Un, uh, underrated players is Zach Nicholson, a Lutheran three-point shooter. If he can hit some outside shots, that'll make a big difference. Yeah, and Saturday night when they played uh, Elkhart Lake, everything was going in, and I think that's very important. You got to hit some shots, and you know he likes to get them in the corner, and we saw him hit one at the top the other day. But we got to hit some threes tonight, which maybe will create some space inside as well for Jensema, and maybe even Sam will get down low a little bit, maybe let him catch the ball by the you know in the block and then drive to the basket and draw those fouls because I think he's going to have to do that too but you're right I think the whole team's going to have to hit some threes. All right with that we're going to step out and we come back we'll have the starting lineup and the tip off for tonight's sectional game. Hey back at uh, Wapon High School we just got done with a very nice rendition of national anthem starting for Randolph is number 10 Mike Thorson a 5'10 senior number 12 T.J. Huizinga, he's a 6'4 senior, left-hander I might add. Number 24, Aaron Retzlaff is a 6'3 sophomore. Number 30, Brian Kampstra is a 6'2 senior. And rounding out the starting five is uh, number 44, Cody Reuter. He's a 6'7 junior. And now for the uh, Crusaders of Lutheran. I thought it was Sheboygan Area Christian. <laughs> Sam Decker is a 6'7 junior. Number three, Zach Nicholson is a 5'11 senior. He could be key to his three point shooting. Number five, Dane Poth. Is a 6'2 senior. You want to keep him on the floor, Chris. He had a little foul trouble in that Christian game that we covered. Number 21 is Jacob Wheeler. He's a 6'1 senior. And number 23, Zach Jensema, a 6'1 senior. Our officials tonight are Tom Hunick, Joel Ebers, and Todd Van Ness, all from Sheboygan County, south of Sheboygan. <laughs> That would be Wooden Chew Land. Well, a lot of tradition, Marty and Randolph. Yeah, they come in 21 and 3 overall, 14 and 0 in conference. Lutheran is 18 and 6. They finished in the Central Lakeshore Conference with a 13 and 5 record. Uh, in tournament play, they beat Christian 48-43, Elkhart Lake by 72 to 50. Rockets beat Green Lake in their last game, 46-36, and it was a very close game, and they uh, 
hammered River Falls in the first uh, tournament game, 66-28. Decker controls the tap. Randolph in a man-to-man -man defense. Azinga's going to be on, uh, on Decker. That's interesting. That's the matchup we were wondering if the best two players would be there. Let's get the ball into the paint. There you go. Oh, go attack. Watch the nerves. Watch the nerves. Keep. Early Good on, Good penetration. Marty. Yeah, Zach had a shot. Zach Jensemon didn't recognize it. You got to recognize those things. Get that shot off. They are definitely aware of where Decker is. Yeah, they... They're going to chip them. They chipped them across the lane there, Marty. That's okay. Yeah, that's it's all not, right. Not a violation here. Zanga moves the feet well. Almost had it stolen. He has over 90 steals on the season, Chris. He's got very quick hands. 40-second possession here on the first one. You got it like this. Now let's just score. Well, I think part of that is not being able to get a shot. Jensema got away with a travel. And then we're going to get a slap down and a foul on Cody Reuter. He's the big fella for Randolph, 6'7". He's a junior. We already talked about Jensen last week in his free throw shooting. Not very pretty. No, he's averaging 7.8 points per game, but you're right. But he nailed the big ones when it counted. Yep. Looks smooth on that release. Both coming in late to fill that last spot. Like Chris had mentioned, Randolph not used to close games. Usually blow out their opponents. That one rims off. One to nothing. Lutheran on top. Looks like a zone, Marty. Yeah, you're right. Interesting. Loading it up from the outside and drilling it was Brian Kamstra. And that was on the Decker side, too, which is a little surprising. You got to get out there a little quicker, Sam. Randolph uh, only down for a few seconds, and that ball tapped away by Huizenga, and uh, he has got good feet and good hands, Chris. Yep. How are you going to get Sam the ball? Which means you're going to have to set some screens. Sam's going to have to work, too, to get open. Wheeler has it on top. Kicking it over to uh, Nicholson. There's another guy. I don't think he'll be able to, he'll, he won't see a lot of shots. He'll cover up him. Yeah, Randolph's very battle-tested through the years. Good defense by Randolph. Both open. Three is off, no good. Wheeler with the rebound. They're going to get Reuter with his second foul. Hey, and a second offensive rebound for the boys in white. And those are two obvious fouls and maybe a little inexperienced for the junior playing in his first sectional. I don't know if he was on the team last year that won the state title. Nicholson open for just a second. Can't get it to go. Wheeler with the board. Good kick out. Good decision there. And hitting a three was Dean Poth. Four to three, Lutheran on top. Yeah, Dane can't be hesitant to shoot that. He's just got to shoot it. No tomorrow. Lutheran still in the zone. Oh, got away with a the walk there, it looked like. Huizenga has it inside. Good pass down deep. Putting it up and in was Zimmerman. And a steal by Huizenga. He lays it up over the crowd and puts it down. Bad turnover for uh, Lutheran there. Seven to four, Randolph on top. They got it, that was one of my six. They got to limit their turnovers. That was my sixth comment is they got to limit their turnovers. Decker's shot from outside the line is off. 
Randolph running the court. And we're gonna get a foul on Zimmerman inside trying to crash the boards, but he hit into a uh, Crusader and he's gonna get called for the foul. His first third team foul already on uh, the Rockets. And on all the big fellas. Yeah, you're right. They're gonna make Decker work, that's for sure. Jensema to Nicholson going down the lane, couldn't get it in. Randolph back on the attack, on the attack they lead it seven to four. Huizinga. They're getting deep, Marty. Oh. Nicholson's gonna get called for a walk, good call. He did shuffle the feed, wasn't expecting that Randolph defender as he turned around. Seven to four, Randolph on top, four, 25 and counting, remaining in the first quarter. Sectional semifinal. A good skip pass, nailing the three that time was uh, Mike Thorson. Oh, well, they're hitting them, Chris. Yeah, they Their are. Second three already. Yeah, they, 32% from there, and so far they're uh, two for two. Like Sam there, when he catches, he's got to attack. Right away, he hesitated there, and now he is lost. As soon as he catches it, he's got to either go or swing it. Oh, Nicholson had Jensema cutting to the basket, but he didn't get it. Decker's shot is off again. Long lead feed down to Retzlaff. Kick it back out to Thorson. And he has another three. And timeout by Lutheran. 13 to 4. 333 remaining in the first quarter. 32nd. Uh, pardon me, a full timeout. We're running a little different operation tonight. We don't have uh, the truck here. Steve Reiner is running the camera. We have no uh, commercials that we go to during these timeouts, so it's uh, just Chris and I <laughs> hooked up to a mixer, and uh, we're just going from there. Uh, our truck uh, barely gets to the south side and then back to the north side. Well, number three point, uh, good start. No nerves, uh, and guess what? Not it's a just, good start. <laughs> no, three for three from three point line for Randolph. And uh, overall in the game, they are five for six shooting. Lutheran, on the other hand, is just one of seven. And they have attempted six threes themselves. So they're taking away the paint, Marty. The only miss was, uh, was that uh, layup, I believe. Well, they're working very, very hard to keep uh, Decker from getting the ball. And when he does, uh, a lot of times he's being double teamed. Right, and you know, everybody does this to Sam. I mean, every team in the conference is doing this stuff, so it's not like Sam hasn't seen this before. Oh, Wheeler barely nicked the corner of the rim. Izinga on a good pass inside. Reverse layup shot is blocked. And uh, Lutheran lets it go out of bounds, and it's gonna be off a Lutheran player. They're gonna give it to Randolph, and that's a good call. Good officiating that time. I was wondering why Wheeler didn't save it because he had a teammate right there to talk, you know, tip it to. 3-13, and now uh, Lutheran has one basket. Hey, there's a nice turnover. We'll take it. Decker's got it, taking it to the hole. He lays it around and around, and it finally does go down. 13 to six. Like I said in the opening, Marty, don't look at the jerseys that say Randolph. They're just another basketball team, and they're going to miss shots and turn the ball over, too. Izinga being guarded by uh, Decker. So the best players are guarding each other. Retzloff had it for a minute, kicks it back out to Izinga. Skip pass. They like to do that, don't they, Chris? Deep. And Poth is going to get called for the foul. Retzlaff will go to the line to shoot a pair. And it's just 
poor defense there by Dane. He had no chance. Once that ball is in there, he was just going to get manhandled. So you either got to front that post position or deny that entry pass because he was way too deep. Sixty-eight percent from the free throw line, Marty. Well, he just missed that first one. Redeker in, along with uh, Tyler Hosenstein and Carl Nimmer in the ball game. Thirteen to six, Lutheran. Rolling down to the 2.30 mark. Now Zinga's out of the game, so, oh, there's a foul. Good skip pass there by the Crusaders. I'll tell you what this does, Chris, is as long as Sam stays out there, Zinga gets some rest, it's gonna yep. pay dividends for Randolph down the road. Yeah, I think Sam's gotta get some blows in uh, effective areas, like at the free throw line, you know, quick get somebody in when there's a two-shot foul, do something. Decker was bumped. Good call there. Pinning the foul, his second foul was uh, Brandon Zimmerman. That's the fourth team foul on the Rockets. Crusaders have committed one team foul, but they trail it by a score of 13 to 6. One good thing, Chris, is they've had some long possessions, Lutheran has. Ozenstein in a good feed inside. Decker being triple teamed. And he got it up and in. I like that when he's down there. You and me both. 13 to eight. He's still 6'7". I know he can shoot the three and he's a great shooter, but 6'7", close to the basket is pretty close. Yeah, really. Campster being guarded by Sam Decker now. Oh, he left his man looking for the steal. And putting it up and in was Campster, and he's fouled. That was Getting a late, underneath was uh, Nicholson. That was a late call, Marty. Yeah, I agree with you there. I thought he was just going to let it go, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he called the foul. Be assertive in your calls as an official, and they can't question. Coach Decker's question now, because it was late. If you're going to make the call, make it, and make it right away. That's and why I don't agree with it. A 16 to eight, finishing off the three-point play was Brian Kamstra. Decker stuck, got it out to Nimmer. The left-hander shoots a three off the glass, no good. Got his own rebound, no good. And then Hasenstein gets the tie up along with Redeker. Both and Wheeler come back. Nicholson and Hosenstein taking a seat. Sam Decker has not taken a rest yet. Thorson has it on top. Good help on the back screen by uh, Poth. Nice move. Oh yeah, good quick move by Zimmerman and he put it up and in. That was smooth. Decker uh, bumped on the way in. Ball is gonna go on Kamstra. 36.4 seconds remaining in the first quarter. It's been Randolph for the most part. They lead it 18 to eight. Yeah, when you bring in Zimmerman, 6'4 off the bench and got a move like that under the basket, that is a big help. Decker up and in and he's fouled. I got, thought he got too far behind the backboard, but he didn't. Foul is gonna go on. It's on Zimmerman and that's his third. Oh. 
Now what I would do right here is take Sam out. I would have a, someone at the, at the you yeah, know, I hear you. extra 30 Getting seconds that. on D. Couldn't get that one in, but Wheeler saves it, but uh, goes right to a Randolph player. 18 to 10, Randolph, 20 seconds remaining. Wheeler coming out high, 10 seconds. Three. Three. Oh, he got the shot off. A good shot in the lane, but it's no good. And we're at the end of one quarter of play. Randolph on top, 18 to 10. Well, not the start that uh, Lutheran wanted, Marty. That's for sure. Uh, those threes early on, uh, won by, I put the wrong number down. Well, two of them by Thorson. He had a couple of threes and uh, that. Uh, the other one was uh, Kampstra, number yeah. 30. He's got. Yeah, that's what I forgot the zero. But uh, yeah, those three early threes really uh, broke it wide open. And actually, Lutheran caught a little bit of a break when uh, Retzlaff went to the line with a couple of free throws and missed them both. Uh, so far in that first quarter, Randolph only made one out of three free throws. Lutheran has made only uh, one out of three also, so the free throw shooting is uh, lacking so far. Decker leads Lutheran with uh, six points, and Thorson leads uh, Randolph with six. Wow, well, cold shooting, Marty. You got four baskets for Lutheran, and three of them are by Decker. I've been impressed with the fact they've been getting offensive rebounds. Zinga back in the game and he is guarding Decker. Oh, now they got a triple team on him. Inside. Give it. Yeah, too late now. When he gets some seal, that's when you got to get him the ball inside. Yeah, it's a little too far away from the basket, but he's got it now. Whenever the ball goes on the uh, side below the free throw line, they almost have a triple team on him. That time they got it inside to Jensen he put it up and in. Very Is nicely that? done by Lutheran again. They've had some very good offensive approaches and attacks. Unfortunately, the ball's not always going in the hole. Now five of 15 shooting. Jay Peters in the ball game, number 40 for uh, Randolph. Yeah, that's their third center. Because <laughs> one's got three fouls and one's got two. The first one, Reuter probably won't see action this quarter. Izinga trying to get inside position. Decker with the steal couldn't get it. And that leaves Thorson open. That's okay, but you gotta get the rebound. Oh, boys. nice rebound by Retzlaff and he puts it up and in. That one hurt. 20 to 12, Randolph on top. First, second shot opportunity for Randolph and they made it count. Both from outside the line, can't get it to go. Jensema with a nice rebound. Wheeler, his three doesn't go. Randolph has it, Hazenga with a behind the back dribble. He's taking it right to the hole with the left hand. 22 to 12. Gotta put a stop to it right now, boys. This is a key point in the game and Todd Decker senses that also and calls a timeout. Well, Marty, they just can't hit that three there. No, you're right. And uh, they've had some pretty good open looks and uh, not going down. They're one of nine from out there. And uh, have you noticed, Chris, when the ball goes below the free throw line extended and they look inside the decker, it's almost like a triple team. It is. Because the guy on the weak you're side right. is coming over. Yep. And that's why you're, you're creating three point opportunities, Marty, but the kids just aren't making them right now. You just got to hope that they, it starts going down, which was one of my points, Marty. Uh, how about. Point? You had that nailed, coach. <laughs> how about number four? Shoot well from downtown. 
So that's, they didn't have the good start. Uh, we didn't shoot well and we just allowed a second shot opportunity, but they've been doing pretty good on that end. 22 to 12, Randolph on top. They uh, got down four to three, about two minutes into the quarter and then uh, Decker's shot rims off. Pazinga with another rebound, and he does a nice pass to Peters. His shot is blocked, but they come away with the rebound. No good, nice shot, nice wide open shot for Campster, but he couldn't get it to go. Decker fouled on the way in, no call. Tip over to Jensema, he puts it up and in. Jensema with two quick baskets here in the quarter. 22 to 14, Pazinga's shot rims off, and then we get a foul. Little slap on the nose by Rhett Slap. That's gonna be his uh, first foul. And uh, Lutheran will be going to the line. Now's where the free throw shooting comes into play, Chris. Nicholson on the line will shoot the one and one. 59% on the year. Ooh. You know, he's got a nice release on his yep. three-point shot. You'd think he's make his free throws a little better. 22 to 14, Randolph on top. Decker guarding Hazinga. A good help defense there by Wheeler on the back cut. Peters has it on top, feeds it inside. Uh, nice little easy jump shot from the middle of the lane by Kampstra. Physically, when uh, Randolph gets down deep, they're almost automatic, Marty. Yeah, there's no one can stop him. Yeah. Decker would be the only guy. Yeah, we got it. We can't let it get so deep, and that's just a continuous problem. Wheeler got it finally. <laughs> take 24 the to 17. Off. Hang take it the, in there. Yeah, take the lid off. Is right. I was talking to the guy, oh boy, there's a break. Yeah, looks like they run the same offense that Wisconsin does. Get it to a guard. Decker, look out below. And timeout by Randolph. Coach not happy with the performance of the boys there. Wow. With 407 remaining in the first half, it's 24 to 19. Well, I think Zenga looked a little tired there. He was a little sloppy on the on going to the basket there, turned it over. Lutheran's hanging around. That's despite, the main thing. Yeah, and they're not shooting well. So, uh, have you watched Randolph run their offense? It looks like the uh, flex offense or the the, the offense at Wisconsin. Oh, right? that swing. Yeah, swing. A little reprieve there for Lutheran. A little life now. Yeah, you gotta like it. Hopefully they can keep it going. I like what Lutheran's been doing on defense. It looks a little more solid. The one thing that does concern me though, Chris, is when uh, Decker goes for the steal and doesn't get it, it creates a lot of situations for, yeah. the, for the Rockets. Yeah, and they are, and they're big and powerful and you know, this is what they do in Randolph. They play basketball and they've been doing it for, you know, they've got 13 state appearances in the last 22 years. And, wow, that's amazing. You know, state champs and just in, uh, in the, since the 2000s, they're 02, 03, 05, 07. And uh, they lost the first game at state in 08 and, and 10. So, and that's division four. Now we have five divisions, which is a whole nother issue. <laughs> but there's still a power. A little pick and roll action, but uh, defensed well by Lutheran. Oh, good quick pass inside. Shot is up and in by Kamstra. He's four of five, Marty, shooting. Well, they move the ball around really well. You know, somebody breaks open, boom, they got the ball. Good switch, D. Got to swing it. Too slow. Just a little too slow on the swing. Redeker inside, number 35. Backup jumper by Decker, his shot is no good. He has a, any from out there. <laughs> Gotta get hot out there. Thorson forcing the action, couldn't get the layup to go. Lutheran has a bust out. 
A good idea, but uh, tipped away from Nicholson. Randolph has it back. They lead it 26 to 19. He's deep. Ah, uh, we're gonna get a travel. Redeker held his ground pretty well. Retzlaff made a nice move, but uh, shuffled the feet, so I guess it, in essence it wasn't really that nice. Yeah, Redeker held his ground kind of like his mom is sitting next to me. <laughs> She's holding her ground. <laughs> Keeping you close to me. That's right, she keeps shoving me over. <laughs> Twenty-six to nineteen. Lutheran down. How about a big three-point play here? How about a walk? Decker, no good. Forced the action, but couldn't get the layup to go. Oh, he's too deep. Decker with a block, knocked it out of bounds. John Roberts was the player that got it deep, but couldn't get it in. And they are definitely getting deep. There's no question, Marty. Easy in for Wheeler. Sorry about that. I, I, you got a right to talk too. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that comes straight from Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-six to nineteen. Oh, Retzlaff came right over the middle and he didn't get him the ball and they tried to do it a second time and it was tipped away. In the ball game now is Josh Wheeler. We didn't see Josh against uh, Christian the night we were there, unless he came in at the very, very end, which I don't think he did, but uh, seeing uh, meaningful minutes right now. Oh, nice, nice. pass by Jensma. <laughs> 26-21, 2.10 left until halftime. How about a big Crusader finish here for the last two minutes? nimmer has got a big guy to cover there in uh, Kampstra. He's gonna have his hands full. Wow. Good help. Sh uh, foul on the, on the shot attempt is no good. Decker doing a lot inside, Chris, trying to help out his teammates. There's a lot of contact on the first one, no call. Lutheran only has three fouls in the whole half. They got the second one there. Well, Retzlaff was 0 for 2 back in the first quarter. See how he does this uh, quarter. Having a tough, tough go of it. Going out is uh, Brian Campster, but coming in is uh, T.J. Hazenga. Randolph just four of 11 in the quarter, but unfortunately for Lutheran, they still trail by five with a minute 53 left. Almost tipped away, Poth. Uh, not a real slick ball handling. And oh, we're this is where you gotta go. They missed two free throws. You gotta take advantage. Gotta get a bucket here, boys. Decker trying to force the action, kicks it out to a pull, almost stolen away. Izenga had good reaction. Wheeler's shot is no good, Nimmer's shot is no good. Tap off the board, no good. Retzlaff with the rebound. Izenga couldn't get it to go, but he's fouled by Poth. Who caught a break there, eh, Chris? They just can't shoot, Marty. Two of 13 from three-point range for Lutheran. Izenga got that first free throw to roll in. Both taking a seat. 118 remaining until halftime. Randolph up 28-21. It's been a while since they scored a basket. Decker, jumper from the middle of the lane is off, no good. Boy, he's really off his mustard, anything outside of 10 feet. Thorsten had it, gives it off to uh, Peters, and now uh, 
Randolph in their offense. Left-hander oh shot boy. is no good. Offensive rebound. Shot is blocked. And goes out of bounds. And they're going to give it to Randolph, saying it was off a Lutheran player. And I do think that was a pretty good call, actually. But uh, you brought it up in the, in the pregame. Yeah, they got a rebound on, uh, and they're just not doing that right now. Nope, three offensive rebounds in the quarter for Randolph. And they got the ball with 35 seconds left. Okay, they're running their high offense. Look for a back cut. Roberts had it for a second. He was the one that got the ball inside but couldn't oh get it boy. up and in. And are they going to get it on the shot or on the floor? Jensema picks up his second, 15 foul. They've been stuck on 21 for a long time, Marty. And Randolph keeps clanking at the free throw line. Boy, oh boy. Two for five, two for six, two for seven, three for eight. Redeker comes in, gives Jensema a break. There's 22.3 seconds remaining. It's 28-21 Randolph. <laughs> hey, they all count. 29-21. Looks like Lutheran will take one shot. They've played uh, for not shooting. They're still in the ball game, Chris. Decker oh leads in, can't get it. No foul called. Four seconds left, two seconds. And the buzzer goes off before the shot went up. And we're at halftime with Randolph on top, 29 to 21. My name is Carol Stern and I'm the president of the U.S. Fund for UNICEF. The floods of Pakistan have left nearly four million children at grave risk of dying. These children have lost everything. They need clean water, medicine, and shelter to survive. UNICEF is there, but we can't reach every child without your help. Please donate $10 now by texting FLOODS to UNICEF or visit unicefusa.org. Hi, I'm Prince Fielder. We're Brewers fans! We're two generations of Brewers fans. Brewer fans are the best fans in baseball. We live responsibly because we always have a designated driver. Fans don't let fans drive drunk. Respect the road and buckle up. Respect, Respect the road and buckle up. Every trip, every time. Every trip, every time. Responsibility has its rewards. Go, Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Back at Wapan Junior Senior High School where uh, the Randolph Rockets lead Sheboygan Lutheran 29 to 21. The, the reason for the lead, Chris, was uh, early in that first quarter, uh, Randolph went on a 10 nothing run. But uh, since that point, uh, Lutheran has uh, played them pretty much even, but that's not good enough. No, and you know what I'm disappointed about, Marty, is they were there for the taking. They missed free throws, got themselves into foul trouble, a little bit of cold shooting, and Lutheran did nothing to come back. I mean, they're just poor shooting themselves. Opportunity to take advantage of a Randolph team that didn't play a great first half, and you still trail by eight. It seems like they've been stuck on uh, uh, 21 for just a very long time, Marty. Leading scorers for Randolph was Bayan Campster with 10. Leading uh, Lutheran was uh, Sam Decker with uh, 10 also. Uh, six different players scored for the Rockets. Four different players scored for Lutheran. Zach Jensma had five. Uh, Mike Thorsten on two threes during that 10-point run, and TJ Huizinga uh, each have six. To also chip in substantially in the point. Nine of, nine of 28 shooting for Lutheran, Marty. Well, that's not good enough. One of 13 from three. 11 of 25 shooting for a Randolph. Uh, they didn't make a three in the second half after banging all three in the first quarter. And it uh, looks to me like Reuters back in there with his two fouls. We didn't see him much at all. He played about two minutes. He's number 44. Right, Jensma on him, and now he's got post position and a uh, real bad pass that time by Kampstra. Misread the move by Reuter. Fifth turnover on Randolph. Somebody's got to hit some. Uh, Wheeler missed the three again. Tried to hustle for the rebound, but couldn't get it. Oh, 
uh, right down Main Street. Getting the pass and putting it in was Rhett Slap. That's too easy. Yeah, they do a better job of defending. They've been very deep, Marty, very, very deep, using their strength. You look at all the Randolph kids, they're, they are all muscle. Becker's shot comes up a little short. It's 31 to 21. Huizenga going hard to the hoop with the left hand. Put it up and in. Got to force him to go right. A little bit of uh, Devin Yerk out there. 33-21 now. Yeah, they're starting to break it open. I thought another thing that uh, Randolph did real well late in the second quarter was rebound offensively. Yep, they did Ooh, a much, height paid yep, off. Much better job. Jensema, good give and go, put it up and in, and that breaks a run of uh, nine points. Wow. Ten-point deficit. So weird. We watched them play Christian a week ago. They couldn't shoot anything. Saturday night they play Elkhart Lake. Luther's knocking in everything. Now again tonight, just very difficult to score. Their outside game is just struggling. Jensema laying off Reuter when he's outside the three-point line, helping on the interior defense. There's that flash cut, flex cut, as they used to call it. Poth on the good defense, forced uh, Retzlaff out of bounds, and a turnover. Thirty-three to twenty-three, Randolph on top. One thing uh, you don't always hear about a team is how great they play defense, and I think Randolph does an excellent job of playing D. Both got away with a shuffle of the feet. Just both of them he moved. <laughs> but they were little steps. Decker can't get the outside shot to go. Poth gets it back. Wheeler with the outside shot. He can't get it to go. One guy that hasn't taken many three-pointers has been Nicholson. Well, Decker is inside position. He didn't give him the ball. Lean in. Sam couldn't get it down, but he is fouled by Izinga. It's only his first. Sam, a very, very good free throw shooter, 79%. Winner of this game will take on the winner of Burlington Catholic Central and they... And Barneveld. And Barneveld and those teams have been playing... Uh, they're, playing this, they're playing right now. Yeah. Matter of fact, right next to us is a scout from uh, Burlington Catholic Central. Izenga going left. Oh, couldn't get it to go. Now you got Gentleman with his third foul. Uh, I don't know if the press is going to be the. It's going to be very difficult to press this team, Marty. They're a pretty smart team. Well, they're very good ball handlers, and they yeah. pass the ball so well. Redeker getting ready to check in. Wow, they just keep missing free throws, Marty. They were uh, four for nine in the first half. But now the thing that I thought was pretty amazing too, Chris, was Lutheran got in the bonus early and only shot four free throws for the half. Yeah. And uh, Randolph shot nine. Yeah, they're different approaches. Lutheran's all outside. They've attempted now uh, 17 threes, and they've made two. I think post feeds are an art. Yeah. And actually, it's a lost art. Kids yep. just don't know how to get it inside. No. That's because of the three point <laughs> shot well, now. There's Martin. Redeker. Why don't you. Jeez. Throw the ball inside because the game is now a three-point shot, so the, the art of posting and inside is so much different. Decker loading it up from outside under a heavy pressure by Azinga, and he's out in front of the group. No good, tap up by Retzlap is good. And Randolph running the floor. Yep. 36-25.
Good inside defense on Sam Decker. They're not giving him uh, much of a look to even get the ball. No, they look at Redeker, but they don't even give it to him. No. Now, I know that Reuters 6-7 there, and it's easy for us to sit here and try to feed that kid, but, uh, you know, he's got a couple fouls. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. You know, the pick on the kid's too bad, but, man, the guy is wide open. Get yep. open again, and we won't give it to you. Uh, Campster with great defense on Wheeler and uh, Lutheran is not getting much of anything. Now, now I'll say this, I watched Usberg play, I thought they played better D. And there's Reuter in his third. <laughs> Let's see what... Uh, call it on Heisinger. Really? That's only his second. He was in the neighborhood. Wow. Well, Decker will be at the line again. Oh. You'll have to stop talking. That lady's coming back. She brings herself a pizza, but doesn't bring us one. <laughs> well, what's going on here? Oh, it's not for her. Oh, Steve. Decker with a couple of free throws. It's 36-27. Lutheran hanging around. But there's Roberts. a lot of work to be done, Marty. Yeah, exactly. Roberts snuck in when we weren't looking for uh, the Rockets. Retzlaff gets it down deep against I uh, Hosenstein. Shot is no good. And they're gonna call it off of uh, a Randolph player. Lutheran will get it back with a chance to cut into the lead. 2.43 remaining in the third quarter. It's 36-27. 10 of 35 shooting, Marty, for Lutheran. Oh, oh Heising uh, cutting in front. Well, what's he shaking his hands for? Like, what? what he, <laughs> you ran right through him. <laughs> And he's got three fouls, Chris. All of them happening in this quarter. Well, he's got... ...aggravating him a little bit. Yep. You know, and you're used to getting your steals. Uh, of course, off Decker with his ball handling skills, it's a little different than some of the other players you've uh, competed against. 2.15 remaining. Almost tipped away by Kamstra. Decker loading it up. And again, can't get it to go. Jenzema on the trampoline puts it up and in. Working his tail off, Jenzema. He's having another nice night. 36-29. It's four of six from the floor. Five rebounds, four on the offense. It's a Ben. Good job by Zach Jenzema. The Zimmerman. rest of your white shirts need to help him out. Kamstra. Good play by Kamstra. Faked the cut across the lane, went back to the corner, was wide open for the three attempt and nailed it. 39-29. Decker being double teamed when he posts up inside. We have it, find it very difficult to get the ball. Kamstra on him. Wheeler, his shot is no good. Zimmerman fouled, but no call. No harm, no foul. And off the hands of the receiver. I believe that was... Uh, yeah, that was John Roberts. Didn't catch that ball, and now he finds himself on the bench. Sam Decker gets a quick blow here. Yeah, his first uh, timeout, or rest, I should say. 10-point game, they are still got a chance, but uh, you got to start making some hoops. Wheeler right down the middle, can't get it. It's blocked, and Randolph tips it out of bounds. And he took it right into the, no! They're giving it to, they're giving it to the Rockets, wow. Thought for sure they knocked it out of bounds. Well, Wheeler took it right to the teeth of the defense. <laughs> paid the price. 
39-29, we're under a minute. That's what we're talking about. Both again. A silly foul, his third. And what for? Yeah, really, 40 feet from the basket? Makes no sense. Just a continuous problem. His for, third, by the way. For him. Wheeler and Redeker come in, oh both in Jensema out. Not a lot of ball handlers in there right now. And you got Jensema and Decker both on the bench. Who is going to score? Well, I know I could, but I'm pretty far from the basket. <laughs> we are up here at the top row, nosebleed heaven. Randolph probably gonna hold it for one, Marty. You'd think, down to 30 seconds. Reuter has it on top, he gets it inside to Retzlaff. Off the rim, doesn't get called oh, for over the terrible. back, and then he tips it out of bounds and they call it off of Lutheran. That, you know, if you're not There's gonna, a double. Yeah, boom. if you're not gonna call the foul, then just give it to the right team because he went right over his back, right in front of you. 22 seconds, down 10, 39-29. Thorson has it on top, being guarded by Wheeler. Reuter gives it right back. Jacob Wheeler, Thorsten, pretty quick little guard. You gotta keep an eye on that boy. Lean in by Retzleff, his shot is no good. And that's the quarter. Well, they survived for 50 seconds on the defensive end, but they're still 10 down, 39-29. The shooting, Marty, the shooting. They are shooting. It's 11 for 39 shooting. Well, scoring by quarters, Chris Randolph is, uh, they exploded for 18 in the first, and then they've had uh, 11 and 10, but that's been enough. Lutheran has scored 10, 11, and only eight that last quarter. And, uh, your shooting statistics really bear that out. Yeah, it's just two of 19 from three. And 11 of 39 in the game. Fifteen of 33 shooting for uh, the Rockets. And they are just the opposite. They are four of six from three point range. Kamptra now has 13 points, only had one, the one basket in the last quarter. Uh, Decker with uh, four free throws, his point total is up to 14, but uh, not nearly enough. He's been uh, really hounded by the Randolph team. Yeah, he is five of 16 shooting. O of seven from three point range for number one. Well, you know what they say, it's not how you uh, start, it's how you finish. And a big hole that time by Reuter, that's a good call. I don't know if you noticed that, Chris, but Decker came off of a screen and he was standing in front of him, fronting, which was fine, but then he held him. Well, I know another thing they often do is they really check him when he comes across the lane, and some teams do that. I know that Hilbert had a team that was kind of like Genzema, that. two, and he's fouled. Reuter again, that's his fourth. I tell you, gentleman's carrying it on his back. He is five of seven shooting. He's got nine points, looking for number 10. Yeah. No, he's got to have at least that many, Marty, because I got him for five baskets, but oh well. One of us has got it, one doesn't. That's all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Oh yeah, you're right. I thought you said nine points. I did. I oh. missed the basket. <laughs> he made the free throw though, Marty. Now we're within seven. 39, 32. With 7.45. Oh, about? there's a walk. Oh, come on, guys. Point a minute, that's all you need, boys. Zimmerman, number 42, has been a nice replacement. Yeah, there's a, a illegal screen yeah. set on Retzlaff, or for Retzlaff, I should say. Kampstra breaking across the lane. Nimmer's got to play better defense than that. He stood behind him the whole while, 
then fell down. The flop is not going to work. You got to play defense. Can't trade baskets, boys. And they throw it away. 41-32. Retzlap, nice drive to the hoop. He's got two more. 43-32. Lutheran's got to stop the run. Good skip pass. Oh, they throw it right back to where the defense was. Poth slides through the defense. Couldn't get his shot to go, though. Nice move, but didn't finish. Izinga, nice pass to Campstra, but uh, couldn't get the shot off. Poth, one of four tonight. That's a travel. Oh, to Zimmerman. Izinga's been very patient tonight, Chris. He doesn't have a lot of points, but he's played solid when he's been in there. Last 16 games that they have won, they've won by over 10 points. Their only losses are to Wanakee, who is 23 and one, Division I, and Beloit Memorial is 19 and four in that stretch. And now the clock starts to become the enemy for Lutheran as we're under six minutes. 5.50 to be exact, 43.32. Randolph on top. Yeah, they have the ball and the Big Ten point lead. And they throw it away. Rare Campster wasn't uh, expecting it. Decker gliding to the basket and scores. First basket of the half at the 5.30 mark, Marty. Wow. Both coming out the double team. You got to keep an eye on Retzlaff. He was open there for a second underneath the hoop. Sam Decker looks winded out there. He's been playing very hard. Well, this is the pace of Randolph. They average just 58 points a game. You're talking about a team here that is 21 and three. They average 58, they give up just 39. Lutheran stuck on 34. Uh, looked like Retzlaff had post sealed off inside, but uh, I thought a good decision by Izinga not to force it. And a 30 second timeout called by Randolph. I'll tell you, as you're, when you're a Lutheran fan or Lutheran team, I mean, this has really got to be frustrating. Yep. Well, like I said, the, the opportunities were there with missed free throws and turnovers throughout the game. You know, yes, they're shooting very well, but uh, opportunity was there tonight, and at this juncture, it uh, looks very difficult for the boys in white. Well, not only being 11 down, but the fact that uh, Randolph handles the ball so well. And uh, like you had mentioned, you know, they don't average a lot of points per game, so they're used to this. And uh, when the opportunity arrives, they'll go to the basket. But until then, it's going to be tough. Lutheran under 30%, excuse me, under, no, oh, that's about right, about under 30% shooting tonight. 13 of 42 from the floor. Steve Reiner running the camera. Chris Wright is your color man. And Mike Martin doing the play-by-play. -play. We're at uh, Wapan Junior Senior High School uh, sectional semifinal action. The winner of this, like Chris mentioned, will play uh, Beloit Catholic Central or Barneville. They're playing right now at this time too. Lutheran's gotta be up on the passing zone. You, if you're gonna double, that's what happens. You're gonna give somebody up. You gotta be up on the passing lanes. Don't worry about the basket. You gotta be up on the passing lane. See, we're, we're yeah. sinking. It's, the old rules that you gotta can't remember to do now. Now you gotta stay on your guy. Ozinga's over the line. Stepped on the line, a turnover, and that's uh, one of the things that you run into when you do try and do a full out delay, which uh, it looked like to me, Chris, but uh, you're almost better off still going to the basket somewhat. I mean, you just can't, you're not gonna run off four minutes and 22 seconds of clock. Yeah, but they just ran off two. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still down by nine. Yeah, well, we need a three pointer, don't we? Oh, Sam off his foot out of bounds. That's one of those deflators. Yeah. Finally get the ball back and you get it for about 10 seconds and kick it away. Meanwhile, we're guarding our players uh, 30 feet from them as the clock is running. Campster looked open inside but didn't take the shot. hosenstein has got to do a better job. Oh, good, good cut to the basket by Izinga. 
And Lutheran almost threw it away. One time, Wheeler. Bango, but it's only a two, Chris. It's only a two. Get up on your guys, boys. Get up on your guys. 43-36. Good try by Sam. Good effort. Get up on your guys. 340 left, down by seven. Try to tip it away. Rhett's last layup attempt is no good. Tapped out. Randolph keeps it. And Jenzema. Decker got it. 43-38. Lutheran making a run. A six-point run by Lutheran. And Randolph calls a full timeout this time. Well, a couple turnovers there by uh, Randolph helping out the cause here. Still 323 remaining. I, I'm always a little leery, Chris, you know, when you go into that delay. And I know that Randolph does it, but uh, sometimes it just takes the edge off your offense. Another thing I don't like, Marty, is Lutheran has two fouls. You know, when it gets down to the end, yeah, you're going you to want to force yeah. bonus situation. I mean, you got to tell your team, you know, we could take some chances. Yeah, exactly. You know, try to tip away a steal or something because you never know, but you got to stay on your guys. You got to be up on your guys. Not like the old, you know, most of the time during the game, you, you protect the basket. Now you got to get that out of your brain and function that I'm going to stay on my guy. And if he gets too close to the basket, follow him early as he's trying to attack and they'll just get the ball out of bounds. You know, don't allow shots. So if you think they're going to beat you, just bump them. Yeah, I hear you. Just be up on their guys. When I, what you're saying basically is you got to think ahead. Yep. <laughs> Wheeler wanted to jump the outload in. <laughs> now we'll give it to the blue guys this time. 3.23 remaining. It's 43.38. Lutheran on a six point run, and they go into full court pressure. That's good, right there. There's okay. nothing wrong with that foul, Marty. Nothing. Stein picks up the foul, you're right. That's a great play. You're gambling, and if it doesn't work, oh, we're out of control, just foul him. There's nothing wrong with that foul. It's an aggressive foul. You get the steal there, you're down by two. Lutheran is uh, five for five in the second half on their free throw shooting. Wheeler's gotta be up farther. He's one of the guys that's a little bit too far away from the basket. Izinga hasn't touched the ball much, and we get another fall. This Little. one's going to be called on uh, Jacob Wheeler. That's only his first, Chris. It's the fourth team foul. Team foul situation has Randolph with five, Luther now with two. 303 remaining. Retz, uh, pardon me, Reuter to Rett's lap for an easy two. That one hurt. 35-48, 45-38. Decker's shot attempt is no good. Huizenga with a strong rebound inside. And a deep pass to Kamstra. Reverse layup is good. They're attacking the basket now. 47-38, a nine point lead again. Ay, ay, ay. Just when you think, Chris. Yep. Six point run by Lutheran, and uh, Randolph responds with a four point run. And uh, they now lead it by nine, 47 38. 238 remaining in the game. And uh, you're going to have to start making some threes. Yeah, and uh, Randolph just can. Continues there sizzling shooting, but the difference again is Lutheran shooting from the perimeter. Most of the Randolph baskets are in the big yellow paint area. Retzlaff now with eight points on the night. A minute, you know, within a seconds ago it was a, you know, 38 to 43, and just like that, whammo. Decker has 18 so far. Nineteen of forty shooting for Randolph. They're almost fifty percent. Well, second cutter through. Hasenstein looked open, but they didn't throw him the ball. Back cut by Decker. Leans in. Basket is good, and he's fouled. That's going to go on Ryder, and that's going to be his fifth. 
Thank you for playing. Have a nice day. You are on the floor six minutes tonight. Well, maybe they don't need three-point baskets, but the three-point play would sure be nice. Yeah, get to the basket is key. Reiter had three fouls in the fourth quarter, Chris, and he had two in the first quarter, didn't play in the second, and uh, was used sparingly in the third quarter. As a matter of fact, he was used sparingly in the first and fourth, too. <laughs> yep. Lutheran up to 15 for 46 shooting. And the 16 fall, too, so Lutheran will be at the line the next fall on Randolph. Sam finishes off the three-point play. It's 46-41. 2.15 remaining. Retzlaff gets it across in plenty of time. Double team. Got to get somebody out on Thorsten. Two minutes. Two minutes of the ball game. Got to be up the line, Sam. You got to be up, Jenzema. Yeah, Jenzema, that's, this is not a good spot for him. Decker couldn't quite get it. Good play by Campster to keep possession of the ball. And we're going to have a time. Uh, Noah Foul is going to be called on Luther, and it might go on Jenzema. Not the guy we want to foul. You got all those other guys, and that's, I think, his fourth. Carl Nimmer commits a foul. It's that's a six good. team foul. That's, yeah, you're right. Puts Luther up to five. Five team fouls. How much time's ticking off? 140 and another foul. This one goes on Jacob Wheeler, his second. 16 foul, 142, it's 47-41. Randolph on top. Well, you don't want Hazenga to be shooting here, Marty. You'd probably prefer uh, Thorsten. He's about the worst free throw shooter at 67. Oh, come oh, on, boy. Sam. Got a minute and a half left this year. Up there Down line. to 30, 130 left in the game, or 132, and that fall committed by Nimmer. Stopped the clock at the 132 mark. And uh, hopefully it's a good choice. 61% Marty, it's attempted 57. I said they have not been in a lot of close games. I'd be curious, one of the keys, can they make their free throws down the stretch in a close game? They didn't make a lot in the first half. Off, Decker with the board, 130. Spinning on in the lane, rims out, rebound, put back, rims oh. out. Oh, tough break. They're gonna say it hit the line off of Decker. Even though Thorsten tried to save it, it'll be uh, Randolph's ball and a tough break. Couple of good looks, Chris, just couldn't get it. It's been that kind of night for Sam. Izinga's got it, and a good job of getting it over to Retzlaff, and they break the press actually quite what easily. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Minute five. What are we waiting for? Wheeler's not up the line. And a foul on uh, Nimmer, I believe, number 11. That's what I meant, Nimmer wasn't up the line there. Campster will be shooting the bonus. 68%, 34 of 50. Draw this game out. Oh. Got the shooter's roll. 48 41 now. 102 remaining. Nails them both. Those were huge. Yep. 49-41, under a minute. Over to Decker. Look for Sam to shoot the three, got fouled, no call. Nimmer from outside the line, no good. Jensma couldn't get it. Coming away with it was uh, Peters. And lead feed, Retzlaff with the easy two. Lutheran tired. 51-41 with 30 seconds remaining. Grab. Both got away with a walk inside feed to Jensema. His shot is no good. Rebound put back is good. And a timeout. 
Well, they had it down to 43 to 38. And then that run, Marty. Yeah, those two quick hoops. And uh, the second of the two was that fast break basket. Campster going to the hole. There's 17.4 seconds remaining. Lutheran is down 51 to 43. Randolph will move, in, move on to uh, the sectional final game. It'll be against uh, Beloit Catholic Central or Barneveld. And uh, they gave it a good run, but uh, they just never had quite enough. They couldn't make their shots when they needed to. And uh, Randolph just a little too tough tonight. Yeah, the shooting is just cold, are they cold, cold. They're not up to th They're not up in the 30s, are they anymore? Oh, I know. Well. Uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, Sam. The, Sam, the bottom line is the shooting has not been good enough. Yeah, Sam seven for twenty-one. Ooh. Sam hasn't hit a three tonight. Um, he, he does have eight. twenty-one. Yeah, he missed eight threes tonight. Let's see how uh, Lutheran handles this if they foul right away, and they're going to back off. I got a feeling this will be the ball game. 10 seconds. And that's it. Randolph moves on with a 51-43 victory. Teams lining up to shake hands. Uh, Chris, your impressions, and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, 16 of 50 shooting for Lutheran tonight, 32%. Uh, and they just absolutely struggled from the three-point line, Marty. They, I have them, it's just, ugh. I have them two of 21 from three-point range. So that's just not good shooting from out there. You know, they had the opportunities. They created some situations. They did a lot of good things tonight, Marty. They played good defense for the most part. But and they had that fourth quarter run that got him within five, but uh, yeah, a very well. good, calm, collected Randolph squad was battle tested. But again, the score, you know, 51 43 was right in the Randolph ballpark, and yeah, right where they like it. Well, Sam Decker finished with 21. Uh, Zach Jensema had another real fine basketball game, he scored 13 points and played well. Uh, but again, Randolph a winner 51 to 43. For uh, Steve Reiner and my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road.